Um, Kenya National Union of Teachers Secretary General Wilson Sosion is on the line. Good afternoon, Mr. Sosion. Yeah, good afternoon to you. Kindly give us your reaction to this latest development. Uh, of course, that has been an option that uh, Kaimanian company have been throwing around together with government, and we know inside government they've been divided over the action, and uh, to us it's an act of desperation. The ministry cannot purport to close down schools, which after all were not, op were not open and functional. Schools closed down early August. And uh, we are not aware of any school that has resumed uh, proper and normal curriculum delivery. And therefore, it means the period of curriculum instruction, even for the candidates, has not been fully covered. And uh, the, the, that act of desperation uh, could be one of the biggest strategies to, to send panic to our members. But we want to tell them that... Uh, the, the, the strike action which teachers are engaged in can only be unlocked with a sensitive and swift response from the other side of government by simply doing one honorable thing, complying with the court orders. Uh, this action of deceiving parents that the students will comfortably sit, for example, is the biggest mistake. Number one, the curriculum has not been fully covered. The standard aid and form four candidates have not covered the period that is designed by kenya institute of, of curriculum uh, development to be able to qualify to sit for the national examination two there is no guarantee that uh, candidates will psychologically sit wait in school and prepare and three uh, teachers will not resume duties to engage in, uh, in, in, in the management of students and preparation of students. So I think this is a tragedy. Somebody is taking education to, uh, for a long funeral in this country instead of taking responsibility to resolve the industrial stalemate and resume duties and ensure that teachers resume duties and students prepare for examinations in a peaceful environment where they are with their teachers as they prepare for exams. This is a tragedy. And uh, knowing, too, that this country has been riddled by uh, examination irregularities, it is going to be very wanton uh, if, if, if this is the direction that the Minister of Education is taking. Mr. Uh, Sosian, are, uh, yes, indeed. Um, you've found this move by the government as uh, an act of desperation, the biggest mistake. But a couple of days ago, um, you asked the government to actually close down the schools. We asked the teachers to step out of schools and release students to go home because uh, discipline and order and management of students is done by teachers. If teachers are out on strike, you cannot guarantee the safety and good management of students. Uh, basically, that is the advisory we gave. And what they're doing now is going to be very disastrous. You remember the other day what happened in a bus in Muranga? Who will be with these students? Who will be taking care of them? There are a lot of issues about this. Yeah. But uh, for us, we are not bothered. Whether they announce the closure or the yeah. opening, that does not bother us. What we are, you... are focused on, on our pride and that is the, the court ruling and uh, our objective of the strike. That is not going to affect us for now. Mr. Sosion, what are you going to do now that even private schools have been asked to close? What is your next move? Were, were schools open in the first place? Let me ask you. Were schools open? What were we doing for the last few days? We are boycotting what? And indeed, we, we remain in that state. As government, let government do what they think is best. We'll also continue doing what we think is best. And you know too well right now we are concentrating on the different matters that are in the, in, in the different courts of this country. Mr. Socion, if the government refuses to yield to your demands, will you remain on strike forever? It's a court order. It's a court order. They must oblige. It's a court order. Unless it's not the government of Kenya, if it's the government of another country, then uh, probably they would go that direction. But it's a court order. 
And they took us to court. You cannot take us to court and commit yourself to respect the outcomes of the court when the order is given and it doesn't favor you. You run around the same courts and uh, keep re reviving the same cases and you expect that we shall dance to your song. We shall never. Thank this you. is a sacrifice we are making and probably that's why we are concentrating on this matter. Yes. Because we think after this, we should be able to have lasting industrial peace so that we can deliver quality education. There is no Thank choice for government until and unless the yes. court nullifies the same order. Thank you as very much. As long as the order is in force and the ruling is in force, Thank you very much. obligated to, 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 to honor. They must honor. They don't have a choice. Thank you very much, Mr. Sosio. the government of the people. I yeah. believe I have to let you go now. Thank you very much. Wilson Sosio, not Secretary General, very upset there about the government's move, uh, move to revise the um, school uh, dates. Now, just a brief of that, the 2015 KCSC and KCP examinations, this is a circular from the Ministry of Education states that the 2015 KCSC KCP examinations will continue as scheduled. It means that the examination candidates in Standard 8 and 4 will remain in school to do their revision and the state examinations. The revision of the term dates for primary and secondary school has been necessitated by the fact that very little or no teaching and learning has been going on in most of these institutions in the last three weeks.